I got my start as a research analyst from covering Asia metals mining from a domestic uh, brokerage firm. So there are more metals and more companies listed on Asia versus Asia. So that's a good starting point to learn more about the industry. I dream most about being an analyst as uh, there's a lot of things changing constantly, uh, so you never get bored. This is also a challenging part, so we're monitoring a lot of different parts, uh, supply, demand, inventory, uh, even U.S. interest rate change will have an effect on our sectors. In our industry, first of all, we need to make a call about the commodity itself, which direction they are going. So then following on covering company itself, because it's very rare for a commodity company to actually perform in a different direction versus the commodity price itself. Uh, so the call first is on the commodities, then on the company itself. Of course, there's individual company specific uh, trends that we'll monitor closely as well. So it's uh, in both a very top-down and a very bottom-up. So our current outlook on basic material sector is we expect the sector will be benefiting from the supply-side reform that's going on in China and also the demand recovery that we're already seeing happening. Uh, so the commodity price already recovered. We expect the company earnings will be improving due to the price increase. We'll monitor very closely on the demand drivers such as infrastructure and property. So any trend changing that, that's uh, impacting our views. The further growth on the commodity prices and demand uh, near term will be impacted by the government stimulus programs, uh, infrastructure and property. Longer term uh, will partially depend on the one Belt and Road. Uh, the projects starts and also the, the progress on the projects overseas. So that will help um, both within China, a commodity demand, and also a few uh, surrounding countries' commodity demand. Within China itself, we do think that the near-term demand is uh, definitely doing very well. After last year's decline in demand, we started seeing quite strong demand trends starting in March from both property and infrastructure. Going forward in the rest of the year, our house view is we expect to see this stimulus-led mini cycle to continue until August and September this year. Any further demand drive will really depend on property market, uh, what's happening with property sales and new stars. If I'm not an investment analyst, I'd probably be a novelist. I love to read and I uh, hope I can write as well. <laughs> Mystery books, uh, uh, maybe children's book as well. Definitely not financial books. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>